as we are coming to the end of the URP after eight long years, of which the project was initially planned to be five, a clear lesson in the big call is, you know, the URP had a budget of $7.5 million. And I keep telling people that it's a drop in the ocean compared to the scale and the enormity of the challenge. Whilst we have been successful in piloting, you know, useful interventions, these really need to be scaled up and replicated if we are to achieve the sort of impact that is needed to shift, you know, the paradigms and to really take people's lives and make them resilient to climate change. So whilst there are lessons that have been learned from the URP in terms of what works, that integrated approaches work, that building from the bottom and community-based approaches work, that systemic approaches are needed to addressing complex challenges, the scale of the investment also needs to match the ambition. And I think as we go forward and as we venture into new areas and solicit new projects, we really need to match the ambition with the right level of budget. We need to be broad-based and inclusive, make sure that everyone is part of the conversations in the beginning. It's harder to bring people into the conversation later on when it has already started. It's easy to start off with everyone and build momentum from the word go. So those are some of the lessons that we are learning and taking from the URP and hoping also to scale these across the region. Because climate change is not just a South African issue, it's a global issue. We have a responsibility in this generation to ensure that we leave this planet habitable and enjoyable for future generations that are going to come after us. We have a responsibility not just to ourselves, not just to our children, but their children and those who shall come hundreds of years long after we've gone. We should be remembered as the generation that stood and made a decision to say not in our time and not in future's time will we allow things to change. <laughs>